Hi and welcome Scorpio, Rose Burnett here from Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your mid-month reading for November 2018. It is a general reading, so take from it what you will leave, what does not resonate. If you want a personal reading with me, attune your own energy and circumstances, I'll pop the link on this video and in the description box below. There is a coupon code running for November. You can get $15 off the 45 minute extended personal reading with me, or you can also use it on the two packages that include a reading and distance Reiki energy healing session. All the info on that is in the description box below. Go check it out. And uh, your coupon code is going to pop up in this corner in a second. All you need to do is take it across to the booking form, enter it when prompted to get your $15 off. Just remember it is case sensitive. And uh, just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. You're rocking awesome for your, uh, your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscribes. And uh, if you're brand new to my channel and you like this reading, hit the subscribe button. You'll get more great content from me. All right, Scorpio, we're going to do something a little bit different for this mid-month reading. We're going to do a nine-card spread on the past, present, and future, as well as your general energies over the next two weeks, everything you need to know, and some gorgeous crowning energies, including one from the Sacred Rebels deck on how to live more authentically. And first up, we're going to open your reading with some guidance from the Blue Angel Oracle. Let's see what you need to know, Scorpio. And don't forget to also check out your monthly one, which is a bit more extended than this one. All right, highest level of guidance, please, Scorpio. Oh, wow. Sagittarius also got this one. Beyond the Storm Protection. Very beautiful. And uh, let me just pull up the guidance for you. And what it says, Scorpio, is storms will come and go and every dark cloud will clear. Beyond every storm, there is a clear sky. The sun will shine once more. So look beyond the current situation. There is nothing to fear. For I, Michael, which is Archangel Michael, will protect you and keep you from harm. You cannot avoid the current situation. So let it come and go. There is nothing you've done to create it. Sometimes storms just appear. They are part of nature. They're also part of our human nature too. There is light within darkness. Look beyond the storm. There is already a clear blue sky in the distance. The sun shines even when we cannot see it. And uh, there's an affirmation here which says, trust that all is unfolding as it should within each moment. There is love. It may not be obvious, but love is always present. Rather beautiful, gotta say. All right, let's have a look at your nine card spread with the angel tarot. And uh, the first card we're going to pull in terms of past, present, and future is the uh, situation. Mm, wow. And you've pulled renewal, Archangel Jeremiah. This is all about going in a new direction, reviewing and evaluating the facts, and uh, time to change whatever aspect of that of your life that applies to. And as always, trust your own inner guidance and wisdom with the messages that come from the oral oracle and the tarot. All right, let's have a look at anything that's challenging you right now. Highest level of guidance, please. Thank you. Oh, wow. I've got to say, not much of a challenge. You pulled the ace of water, falling in love, uh, which is all about a new person entering your life. For those of you that are single and for couples, resurgence of love in your existing relationship, possibly a new home. All right, let's have a look at the basis of the situation. Mm, okay, some of you need to do it. Make a decision. Seven of water. It's saying a complex decision to make. Weigh up your options before acting. And uh, it says stop procrastinating, Scorpio. Okay, let's have a look at the recent past. Yeah. You've got the Knight of Earth and it's saying, time to buckle down, honour your commitments, do what you say you're going to do. Uh, this is often all about a bit of hard work, whether that's in your life path, life purpose, or uh, in your love relationships. All right, let's have a look at the present. What is it Scorpio needs to know? Mm, okay. You pulled the moon, Archangel Haniel. It's saying important insights. It does say psychic insights and intuition. Um, 
things that are possibly events going on. You're not really seeing the truth in, it's uh, stuff happening behind your back. Um, it says release any fears that are holding you back. So I think you're gonna get some clarity about something quite important in your life. Um, yeah. In terms of uh, the near future, you've got uh, Archangel Ariel, the strength card. You've got great inner strength. Um, it's saying release harsh judgments about others, forgiveness and compassion. Well, I'm getting the feeling that for some of you, quite a few of you, there's stuff to let go of from the past in order for you to move forward, but you're about to move forward. Wow. I think you might be seeing, seeing things more clearly. All right, this is your energy in the situation. Pretty cool, I've got to say. Uh, it's saying receiving gifts of money for your time and your effort, uh, more security in terms of your finances, but it's also receiving a loan or paying off a loan, clearing some of those debts. Yeah. It does also say new career opportunities coming your way. All right, let's have a look at the uh, impact of the people around you. Highest level of guidance, please. Thank you. Mm. You've got the Queen of Earth and it's saying to make time for others to um, deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Take a sensible approach. Mm, kind of, It kind of pertains to a bit of stuff going on in your relationships, yeah? All right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears. Yeah. You pulled the F5 of water and it's saying things not... Turning out how you hoped they would, crying over spilt milk, not seeing the positive in a situation. And often when we have challenges and they don't work out how we thought that they would, it's often uh, the universe nudging us onto a better path. Oh, wow. Well, Got to say, wouldn't worry too much because the uh, outcome is the ace of earth, the inflow of abundance, promising you contracts, business ventures coming your way. How awesome. Directly related to your career and your life path, life purpose. All right, let's have a look at your general energies. I'm kind of super intrigued to what, what's going to come out because there's an underlying theme here um, in terms of possibly some undercurrents of... Uh, Conflict or host, not hostility um, in terms of your relationships, yeah? I think perhaps you might possibly, some of you, be leaving some relationships behind to move forward. Okay, let's have a look at the Goddess Guidance deck in, term, in terms of your general energies for uh, the next two weeks. Covers whenever you're watching this reading. Mm, okay, the first bit of guidance you've got is to tap into your divinity. Connect into a sacred space that means something to you. For me, it's out in nature. Um, if you're on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because I take you on my walks and my hikes and uh, I do a lot of inspirational, motivational stuff on there. Um, I'll put my handle on here. But uh, Nima Toma, sacred space. It's about creating a sacred space at home or connecting into a place where you can tap into your own divinity, talk to your angels, release any stresses or worries out to the universe, manifest. I was out this morning and... Uh, if you don't know, my animal spirit guide is the eagle. And right at the end of my walk, I've got two eagles flying above me. So beautiful. Mm. And uh, you pull bright future Lakshmi. It says, stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. I'm going to say to you, there's some, some divine timing happening in your, uh, in your career and life path at the moment. Yeah. This is your second card for protection. Ark. It's Artemis, the guardian. You and your loved ones are divinely protected at this time. So no matter what's going to come up for you, just know that you're going to be protected. Mm, yeah. God, I've got an absolute feeling that it's going to have to be some relationships to get smoothed over, over Scorpio, or you're going to just have to apply some extra love, compassion this month with the people in your circle. Mary Magdalene, unconditional love. Love yourself and others, no matter what's going on. Um, basically, is an indication that if people are going to be a little bit funny in terms of, um, you know, disagreeable or emotional, is that you don't know what they're going through. So just be compassionate. 
Yeah, so I saw this. Absolutely. Butterfly transformation or butterfly made in transformation. You're experiencing enormous change now that's going to lead to great blessings and more joy in your life. Absolutely. Don't hold yourself back. Don't let anyone hold you back. Okay. Let's have a look at the crystal guidance and see what comes out for you, Scorpio, which covers all aspects of life. Mm. Uh, you full chrysotile animals and uh, this basically means that you've got uh, a really good connection with animals you can intimately understand animals can mean that you're a protector of animals or your animal spirit guide is going to show up for you in the next two weeks mm -hmm. mine shows up for me regularly sometimes the universe surprises me you know because i can be walking along my walks and um you know i can share with you i get stressed out just like everyone else but i've learned how to balance my emotions out yeah and i was walking out this morning just letting a few frustrates frustrations out i won't tell you about what but and the universe has gone like oh hello she's been doing that for way too long let's give her a couple of eagles that will take her mind off it well it certainly did <laughs> you've also got rose quartz in a child um it's directly related to your bright future Tapping into what you're most passionate about, what has meaning for you. It can also mean bringing more fun and adventure into your world, Scorpio, in your time off. Mm. Wow, this is interesting. Your full lapis lazuli past life is sitting directly under the second card for um, being divinely protected at this time. Guardian over you. Um, I was going to say, some of you have had many, many past lives. And uh, you might get an awakening to your divine gifts and talents, but what I'm feeling here is that you've got some um, angels and spirit guides that have been watching over you for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you don't know, apart from reading the uh, tarot and the oracle, I also do energy healing. So uh, distance Reiki energy healing, and I can tap right into people's soul lives, one of my divine gifts and talents, and have a look at past lives. Um, that's really interesting how that combination's come out. People say to me, oh, I don't have any guardian angels. Oh, believe me, I can see them. Mm -hmm. I can see them. Oh, gorgeous. I'm going to say everything's leading you to success. Orpiment. Um, in terms of relationships, for you to smooth them over and for them to be successful, if you've got to apply unconditional love. Yeah, um, absolutely. But uh, just know you've also got success coming. I'm going to say it's directly related to your life path, life purpose, your money, your abundance. You've got to work for it, though. Don't expect it to drop in your lap. And uh, you've also got hidden night gratitude. This is directly related to transformation. So I'm going to say whatever challenges that you've gone through, there's been lessons in there that have allowed you to recognize things about yourself that's going to lead to growth. Just be grateful for those lessons. Um, often the challenges can give us that sense of gratitude when we realize how much they've helped us to uh, grow more. Uh, yeah, and when you grow more, you're naturally more successful. Let's have a look at the uh, energy oracle in terms of a specific guidance, Scorpio. Oh, this one's so what's come out for you. Oh, yeah. I'm so not surprised this has come out. Storm warning. I'm going to say this is in your relationships. Just know that storms pass. Um, hello. Beyond the storm, protection, just know it's coming. Um, you've got a heads up, Scorpio, in the next two weeks. Um, it'll pass. All right, what else does Scorpio need to know? Mm. So you pull the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, which is your heart chakra. Uh, it's directly related to do with your bright future and your inner child. So it's connecting your soul light to your inner child and making choices based on that in terms of your life path, life purpose. When you do that, it's going to lead you to success. Oh, wow. Hello. Storm warning and hostilities. There we go. Oh, well, I just had a sense it was coming, a sense that it was coming for you. Just know you're divinely protected, okay? You don't need to worry about it. Just put boundaries in place. Stand up for yourself. Just know they're coming, yeah? Heads up. <laughs> Got two cards here for divine protection, though. And you're going to have to be on your best, bestest behaviour, Scorpio, with people. Um, 
treat them with compassion. When you do that, you're going to have this happy family. It's directly sitting under Mary uh, Magdalene applying unconditional love to you, not only yourself but to your love relationships. Uh, this is sitting directly under success. So you will have success with the uh, overcoming the storms, the hostilities by uh, listening to the guidance that's coming through to you right now. All right, let's pull one more card. Highest level guidance, thank you. Mm. And in terms of the transformation, some of you are a bit anxious about it. Often this happens when you're going through a period of change because all sorts of fears can come, come up for you. Those fears can be karmic, yeah? And it's about just letting them go and realising that um, whatever's coming your way, it's universally guided, but it's, you've always got conscious choice about the direction you're taking in your life. But just know it's leading you to more blessings and joy. You're just going to get through that little bit of rough patch. Mm -hmm. The uncertainty. Often we worry about things that are never going to happen. Okay. Let's pull your crowning energy, Scorpio, from the Sacred Rebels deck. And uh, let's see what comes out for you. Ah, super intrigued just to know what's going to come out for you, actually. Wow, this is interesting. You've pulled. Come to life. She's actually got a paintbrush. She's painting herself. <laughs> there's a, I'll, show, I'll bring it up close because it's, it's really cute. There's a little monkey holding on to the paint pot, although it does look like she's painting herself with honey. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah. And it looks like there's a crow on her shoulder. I'm not sure that I like, quite like crows, but anyway. Um, all right, let's pull the guidance up for you. This has actually, this card's not come out before. So um, this is a new deck. All right, Scorpio, what it says is, you are the most sacred of all sacred artworks. You are bringing yourself to life now, and this is how it must be. Of course, something being essential doesn't mean it will always be easy. You must support yourself and have courage during this process. Your monkey mind is not to run the show. Oh, that's why there's a monkey in the picture. It might have a lot to say and at times it can be very convincing, but it's not the one in charge. Your mind can inspire you with ideas. However, it is the real you that speaks through your rebellious sacred heart and is living your life, not the monkey mind. The mind is not much more than a swirling cacophony of habitual reactions. Beyond habitual thoughts, there is a deep, sensual, creative and energetic awakening happening to you. It is so far beyond what the mind is capable of controlling. Others might not like it because it shakes things up. Oh, here we go. Coming to life tends to do that. However, it is happening now and the only real choice you have to make is how to deal with it. Coming to life means feeling. It can, might bring joy, but can equally bring sadness, rage or fear. It could bring all of these and more. Feelings will come and go quite swiftly when allowed to flow. You might need to paint, write, enact rituals, sing or dance your feelings to help the energy flow. Don't hold back. Create the space for yourself to do it. In this process, you are uncovering the artistry of the universal creator. You are honouring the sacredness of life by exploring it without restraint and that includes the flow of your feelings. You don't have to do anything with them other than express. You might want to analyse or you may not. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you are getting in touch with feeling. Learning how to access your feelings allows you to learn how to access your intuition, your creative inspiration and genuine internal guidance. These aspects flow from the same place and are often couched within your feelings in the form of emotions as well as physical sensations. The journey underneath the mind and into essential emotional connection with your feelings, emotions and bodies of it's for a sacred purpose. It is part of your path. You are one of the sacred but powerful minority that have chosen to come into a body and live consciously within it. That may seem like it applies to everybody, but when you experience it for yourself, you will realise that it's actually rather rare. There are plenty of bodies without a spirit really residing within to care for, love and honour them as a sacred animal. 
Fortunately, this minority is powerful enough that it can keep human culture in balance, but only just. We need every single one of us that is capable to be aware of the task and move beyond the mind into the body. To come into your sensuality, you will need to anchor your experiences. You may be blessed with relationships that are conscious enough to be interested in your journey in a constructive rather than controlling or undermining way. If so, talk, converse, share. If not, then you will need to be more resourceful in how you support yourself through your awakening process, at least until you attract some more conscious connections into your life. It is likely that these connections are already on their way just because you're working with the energy of this oracle. You can support your own process by scheduling time for yourself and keeping to it like you would the most important date with destiny. So get to writing in your journal, do your dances, paint your pictures, create your creations, be kind to your body, listen to it and let it be alive. Even in times of pain, know that there will be ecstasy and bliss as the process of healing and awakening continues. The message of this oracle is be alive. Don't imagine you can go back to sleep. You are too awake for that now. There is no falling back into old ways. If you do so, it will be short-lived and it won't feel the same as it used to. You may grieve this. You will certainly eventually celebrate it. You've crossed the threshold from an old way of being into an old life and try as you might, you cannot return. It is better to let it go. Grieve if it needs be, celebrate if it needs be, or do both, and move on in this moment. There is another adventure awaiting you now. You need a deeper connection with your own instincts, your body, your feelings and intuition so that you can receive this new calling. You can trust it too. Embrace it and it will embrace you. Amazing guidance. All right, to finish off your reading, Scorpio, there's a healing ritual here which says, lay quietly and play some beautiful music that you love. Allow it to move through your body as though the sound is pure energy and you are light as air. Let the sound feel good. Let your cells receive the sound energy. Feel the music rattle about in your body as if the sound waves are making your cells vibrate. They are. Let there be life. Get up and move if you wish. If you have emotion arising, be with it, but don't hold on to it. Let it rise and fall as it will. Be in this process as long as it feels right for you. Feeling you've had enough indicates that you have completed the healing process for this oracle. You may wish to repeat this exercise daily for several weeks. If so, choose music that feels right for you each time. You can then see the difference this healing process has on your well-being, your energy levels and the ease in which you access your intuition and feelings. Also note the clarity in what you perceive. You might be surprised at what a little music therapy consciously received can do for you. Wow, how awesome. Um, I'll also put the link in the description box below for Lisa Watley's YouTube channel because she does some amazing sound therapy with her guided meditations. And all you need to do is listen and allow the uh, energy to work through you. So I'll pop that up in the description box for you. All right, Scorpio, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to grab your coupon code to get that $15 off the 45 minute extended personal reading with me or the two packages that include a reading, a distance Reiki energy healing session. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.